Tens of thousands of homeless people live on the streets of Los Angeles. Hundreds of thousands of homeless people live on the streets of the U.S. And even if some of these people are temporarily homeless, the likelihood that they return to the streets is very high. Consequently, hundreds of thousands of people are let out of U.S. prisons every year. Much of this population gets rearrested within a few years. The overwhelmingly high volume of returnees to prison is what's known as recidivism. And as homeless rates and crime rates have been drastically increasing throughout California and the entire U.S., many social science experts who study these issues say providing this segment of our society jobs is crucial. Crucial to giving them a sustainable life and critical to the future of our society going forward. Having money to live as well as self-worth and a purpose help keep people off the streets or out of the prison system. James DeSanto knows all about this. James was incarcerated. My past unfortunately involved a lot of dysfunctional criminal behavior. I did end up in prison. I came out of prison and found it very challenging, very difficult to find a job. No one was willing to hire me. It was not for lack of trying. I was online, I was on foot, really putting forth a solid effort. And I got a lot of positive feedback. You seem like you've made great changes. You seem like you're on a good path, but we're really not ready to put our neck out and put you on our payroll. Monica Francis knows all about this. Monica had no permanent place to live. I was in a bad place in my life to where I needed to uh, come back to Los Angeles, which is home. I had two duffel bags, $3, and I did have a place to go, but it was temporary. I was looking for a job. I couldn't find a job because there were too many gaps in between uh, me being unemployed and working, and I just needed some help. That help was eventually on the way for Monica and James. They were lost, yet somehow found hope when they got connected with a nonprofit known as Chrysalis. The motto here is changing lives through jobs. And just as the name says, Chrysalis changed the lives of Monica and James and thousands of people like them over the years. This once unknown Southern California nonprofit founded nearly 40 years ago now has offices all throughout SoCal and has placed tens of thousands of people into the workforce over the years. Chrysalis does this through a host of services. For example, one-on-one -on -one support from an employment specialist, job search, toolkit, and employment preparation classes, how-to info about things like talking to employers about difficult issues like past prison convictions or being homeless, then there's all kinds of help with personalized resume writing and special training with practice interviews. There's online job application assistance, computer lab and telephone accessibility, transitional employment opportunities, referrals to community partners, even clothing is provided, also hygiene items, necessities to help rejoin the workforce. Having the job is one thing, but also having a place that believes in you and is willing to, that did a lot for me, them putting their name behind me and giving the opportunity and say, you know, we believe you can do this. So that all plays into, you know, working to combat those recidivism rates. Despite his past, Chrysalis knew that James could have a promising future. This nonprofit knows a prison record or a concrete zip code on Skid Row does not have to define who you are. What began as Chrysalis job training eventually worked its way into a promotion with a nonprofit. James is now the supervisor of what's known as the Chrysalis Roads Program. So I decided to get involved in the Roads Program uh, in which we work with uh, Caltrans and we work clean up the California freeways. Um, we do litter abatement and um, landscaping and my particular crew. So that was available to me. They also offered me um, resources to get uh, clothes, work clothes, work boots. Uh, the necessary amenities I would need uh, to work. And that continued on when I was a client for um, several months, where if I needed something, I just reached out to them. For a while, life was not easy for Monica. She knew she had made some bad decisions in her past, possibly got involved with the wrong people, and was dealing with the consequences. She also knew that she had a lot to offer society, and that given an opportunity, she was going to seize upon that no matter what she had to do what sacrifices she had to make to succeed in life. So I came in, did the orientation for about a week, and I was employed with uh, works team. 
I uh, clean up downtown Los Angeles. I started off as a sweeper. I got training. I also received uh, resources for job placement at other places. Lo and behold, a year later, I became a supervisor. They gave, given me all the tools that I needed to be successful in my job title today. As both Monica and James explain, this unique nonprofit in the Southland gives them and so many others the belief and the optimism to succeed. This safety net was their lifeline to a newfound life. They're not turning anyone away. No one is turned away, regardless of your background, your race, color, any age, none of that, none of that. I mean, I'm getting a little teary-eyed because, you know, they help me so much. We really need a sense of belonging. We need to feel like we're part of a community. And Chrysalis does that. You know, I'm helping, able to give back now. I'm a supervisor. I'm in a position where I'm helping people in a position I was in not so long ago. Let me help tune you up on some of these professional skills. Let's get you a little more uh, employable, right? So this is, this is, um, this is, what I do now, it's great because I get to work, I get to get my hands dirty, but I also get to provide and give back. Chrysalis has what's known as an employment social enterprise program. Simply put, this comprises a few different business avenues, so to speak. They're designed to help place folks in transitional jobs that are planned specifically for their respective skill set, since many often have no job experience whatsoever when they first meet with Chrysalis they're able to take that experience and put it on a resume. It can actually help them get a more sustainable and lifelong employment opportunity later on in life. There are four different programs in our Chrysalis Enterprise format. They include works, roads, staffing, and safety. We partner with business improvement districts throughout Los Angeles City, and we do litter abatement as part of uh, clean teams in those business improvement districts. Chrysalis staffing offers an opportunity for someone who may have somewhat moderate work experience, that client that is more independent, to work in a staffing environment. That means we partner with various businesses to provide custodial services, and perhaps litter abatement, and other services. Direct hire, this allows them to go out and independently work with specific partners that uh, have opportunities on more of a moderate or high level. Safekeeping is a transitional jobs opportunity where we partner with different uh, other nonprofit organizations and we provide uh, cleaning services, custodial services specifically, as well as public storage for people who are experiencing homelessness. The Roads Programs is a transitional jobs program for folks who really thrive in a group or team environment, we partner with Caltrans to help with litter abatement along our city and county's highways. What we've seen is that oftentimes people who go through our program end up mentoring others and helping them along the way. Those we serve sometimes are struggling with uh, housing instability. Um, they're trying to re-enter the community after having been incarcerated or coming in contact with the criminal justice system. Uh, they're sometimes struggling with mental health issues, uh, substance use issues, um, and we can kind of give them that hope and stability as well as resources uh, to our partners, especially for our clients that are trying to re-enter our communities after being involved in the criminal justice system. The, the cycle back into that system is so strong. Uh, the data shows that about two-thirds to 70% of those who are released uh, from prison will return within two or three years. As it relates to issues of poverty, um, you know, often getting a wage and getting a job um, may not be enough. It's the, it, it, you can lose that job and then you're a paycheck away from falling back into homelessness. Um, and that cycle that we aim to address is helping get someone not just a job but on a career path. Um, get a job and then get a better job um, so that they're less vulnerable. A client is anyone who is experiencing barriers to employment. So out of our clientele, I think about 72% of them have experienced homelessness in some form, and roughly 58% of our clients have been impacted by the justice system in some way. So some of the barriers that our clients are facing are 
homelessness or being unstably housed um, or being laid off from a job or when they are fired or laid off from a job, they um, need to be able to transition and they might not have the skills that they need to be able to do that. Um, so what that looks like is we really help clients with building out resumes and practice interviews. And then in addition to that, we also help to provide them with scholarships for trainings and certifications so that they can gain and learn new skills um, to help them when they want to switch careers. So our clients um, attain a wide variety of jobs from working in a warehouse to uh, more recently through our sector program, we've had some clients work in IT um, and do asset management. Our, our goal is really not to only help them find a job that will meet the bare minimum, but also find a job that has a thrivable wage. As you know, um, cost of living is insanely high in LA and Orange County, so we really want to make sure that clients are not only finding a livable wage, but a thrivable wage. Robert Anderson is thriving these days. Robert was out of prison, on parole, did not know what to do, and then he met with the Chrysalis counselors. Well, they were very engaging and understanding of what my situation was. My preference was to get back into uh, driving trucks, was, which was used to be my uh, field of uh, expertise, you might say. So I'm very skilled at, at driving trucks, and there isn't too many uh, trucks that are out there on the road that I haven't driven. That has been my life, and that's how I've raised my kids, you know, as a truck driver. I've been around uh, for a while, you know, and uh, this small bump in the road. I was in the back of the van just like everybody else, you know. The uh, last thing I thought I would be was a road supervisor, but uh, here I am. Uh, instead of sitting in the back taking direction, I'm the guy who's giving direction. Nobody's been rejected here. Everybody has been accepted and, and accepted with their faults. They may be struggling with mental issues some with drug issues and sometimes they need somebody to say look you know i support you you know and i and i want to help you i reflect over and over again when people come to chrysalis they are at a really really tough fork in the road they have to choose to try to transform or not and chrysalis provides that cocoon that space where someone can transform from a caterpillar to a butterfly Monica says that happened to her with a lot of help, she acknowledges. Her first meeting with Chrysalis, the assignment of an employment specialist who worked with her on a weekly basis, her job training, the job listings she was given, the computer lab assistance, the resume building, the practice interviews, the transportation, tokens, bus passes, even parking assistance when she had a job interview. Now, the best part for Monica, reuniting with her children her reason for living. They're really proud of me, really proud of me. I mean, since I've been here, I've hit the ground running and I haven't stopped and I won't stop. When I'm on the streets doing my job, the vendors, the residents, thank you so much. That is just like an extra breath of fresh air throughout the day to hear that, to know that you're doing a good job.